the next part 4 given expression is x is equal to a t square y is equal to b t 4 which is actually parametric function to differentiate with uh, or to find second derivative again we have to differentiate both of these two terms separately and then using chair rule we find y1 or first derivative and then to find y2 we have to differentiate again with respect to x the same process which is used in our third part so x is equal to a t square differentiate with respect to theta that uh, not theta, this is actually t. Differentiate with respect to t as x is the uh, function of t. So there is no theta x actually. So dx by dt is equal to 2 into a t. y is equal to b t4. Again, differentiate with respect to t. Instead of theta, we have to differentiate this with respect to t. So that is d y by dt is equal to by using our power theorem b will be as it is and derivative of t4 will become 4t cube. Now by using chain rule dy by dx is equal to dy by dt into dt by dx. Just to put the value uh, dy by dt which is 4bt cube and then put the value of dt by dx by taking reciprocal of this dx by dt we have 1 over 2at. Now y1 is equal to by simplifying this one 2 2 are 4, b will be as it is, this a and by cancellation t cube with t we have t square. So this is our required first derivative. And now y2. Again differentiate with respect to x as explained in the third part to find y2. Although y1 is the uh, function of t, but to find y2 which is actually d2y by dx square. So we have to differentiate this y1 with respect to x instead of this t. So y2 is equal to 2b over a is the constant term. The derivative of t square will be 2t as we are going to calculate derivative with respect to x. So again we have to take derivative with respect to x of this t which is actually d by dx of t. And now y2 is 4 dt divided by a and dt by dx as we have dx by dt is equal to 2 at. So just taking the reciprocal of this uh, dx by dt we have 1 over 2 at. Now simplifying this expression we have second derivative is equal to 2 b over a square. This t will be cancelled out to 2 are 4 and we have b over a square. Now fifth part which is actually implicit relation x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. Now we have to find second derivative. So first we find first derivative differentiate the given expression with respect to x. Differentiate with respect to x. We have 2x square plus the derivative of y square will be 2y and then derivative of y is y1 plus 2g is the constant term. Derivative of x will be 1. So we have 2g only and the derivative of 2fy. 2f is the constant term and derivative of y is dy by dx which can be written as y1 and the derivative of a constant term will be 0. So we have here y1 in two terms. So taking common y1, we have 2 into y plus f. And these two terms, 2x square and 2g is without y1, can be shifted into the right hand side. So that will become minus 2x and minus 2g. And finally, we have minus y1 is equal to minus 2 and be taken as a common factor. So x plus g and divided by 2y plus f. This 2 will be cancelled out. So y1 is equal to minus x plus g divided by y plus f. Again differentiate with respect to x. So this is actually second derivative of the given expression y2. To differentiate y1 will become y2 and on right hand side this minus will be as it is and to differentiate this x plus g divided by y plus f we have to use our quotient theorem which is actually y plus f whole square. y plus f will be as it is derivative of x plus g minus this x plus g will be as it is and then uh, we have to take derivative of denominator which is y plus f. Now y2 is equal to minus y plus f 
derivative of x plus g is just only 1 because g is the constant term and derivative of x will be 1. Multiplying to this y plus f will become y plus f only minus this x plus g is as it is and derivative of y dy by dx will become this y1 and derivative of f as f is the constant term so derivative will become 0. Now y2 is equal to this minus will be as it is, denominator will be as it is, y plus f minus x plus g. Now put the value of this y1 uh, from this equation number 1. So we can mention it out here from 1. The value of y1 is actually minus x plus g over y plus f which is this one. Now uh, to simplify, we have to take LCM in numerator. It will become uh, y plus f is an LCM. So, we have y plus f whole square. This minus and minus will be plus. x plus g into x plus g will become x plus g whole square divided by y plus f and whole divided by y plus f. This y plus f multiplying to this y plus f whole square will become y plus f cube. And to open this square and this square we have y square plus f square plus 2fy plus x square plus z square plus 2gx. As we have the given expression x square this plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. So by using the given expression that is or that will become y2 is equal to minus c plus f square plus z square divided by y plus f whole cube as x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 which is actually given expression and this x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy is equal to minus c. So against uh, these four terms x square, y square, 2gx and 2fy we can write minus c which is this one and this f square and g square will be as it is. So, this one is actually our required second derivative of the given expression c by multiplying to this minus, minus and minus will be plus this c minus f square minus g square divided by y plus f whole cube.